The 7mm PRC has hit the market and it has taken off like wildfire. It's a darn good cartridge, no doubt, but it's also been extremely overhyped by the fans. So in this video, I'm going to cover the good, bad, and ugly. And what do I mean by the bad and ugly? Well, that's just the fanboys overhyping it. Let's get into the video. To not sound like a bitter ex that just got done with a really nasty divorce, let's talk about all of the good things that the 7mm PRC brings to us. In front of me is, to the left, a 6.5 PRC, and to the right is a 300 PRC. And the 7mm PRC is really right in between with case size. So it's kind of just right, as a lot of people will say kind of that Goldilocks size. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and look at the performance and see why everyone loves this cartridge. Here are the case dimensions. So it's a bit longer than a 6.5 PRC or a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 308, but the case diameter is the exact same as a 300 PRC and a 6.5 PRC. This fits into a standard length action. So one of the benefits for the seven millimeter PRC, just like any other PRC, is that it's been modernized to where your seating depth isn't eking into the powder capacity. So you're really getting the full potential out of these PRC cartridges. Another benefit that people talk about is that you're gonna be able to get most of its performance with just a 24 inch barrel instead of a 26 inch barrel like you might need for a 300 wind mag or a seven millimeter rem mag. Uh, let's go ahead now and Look at the performance. 150 grain at 3150, that's not bad. But this cartridge is meant for heavy bullets that are high BC. So again, the 160-ish grain, 3150. Interestingly enough, the max velocity for the 175 is only 3,000 feet per second. Just with that 1 and 8 twist, you can shoot bullets up to a 190 grain at 2,900 feet per second. So it has insane long distance potential as a target rifle. Now let's talk about realistic downsides to the seven millimeter PRC. You can't find ammo for the seven millimeter PRC. I would love to buy a case or even ammo to show you what it looks like. I can't find it. And when it does come available, it goes like that. So it's very popular right now, and it's really hard to find. Also, Hornady is the only one making 7mm PRC ammo right now. Now, some of you love Hornady ammo, some of you don't. I kind of see it as a downside if no other manufacturer is making it at the moment. Now that we've talked about the good of the 7mm PRC, there is the bad and the ugly side, which... I think is where all the overhyping comes from, which is from the fanboys. So what I've done is that I have noted all of the fun comments that you see on YouTube about the 7mm PRC and how amazing it is. And so we're going to address each of those to see does a cartridge really live up to the hype that some of the fans give it. Let's find out. Now these are real comments that I've seen on YouTube, so let's start with this one. Talking about the 7mm PRC, quote, This will kill 7mm Rem Mag. In 10 years, no one will be buying 7mm Remington Magnum. Now I don't really believe that comment is going to happen. Here's why. More and more companies are updating these older cartridges, like the 7mm Remington Magnum, which is within... 50 feet per second of a 7 millimeter PRC in performance wise. So this is Browning's website and other companies are starting to do the same, but Browning gives you a 7 millimeter Remington Magnum with a one and eight twist. Now I've shot a Browning X-Bolt in 7 millimeter Rem Mag with the 180 grain ELD match. And so, yeah, companies are updating uh, these older cartridges so I don't see the 7mm PRC basically taking away the REM mag. I do think the PRC is going to be very popular and take cells away from the REM mag, but it's not going to kill the REM mag. Another comment comparing the PRC to the 7mm REM mag. 
Quote, after 400 yards, the ballistics deviate rather dramatically with the PRC coming out on top. Six inch difference in drop at 500 yards, 65 inches at 1,000 yards. It's not even a conversation. Now here's where I have problems. A lot of people are going to try to skew the numbers by saying, oh, well, a 175 grain soft point bullet you shoot in a 7 mag is, of course, not going to do near as well as an ELDX in a 7 PRC. What happens, though, if we use bullets that are similar or the exact same? Let's find out. Hornady makes factory ammo for the 7 mag with the 162 ELDX, and this is the ballistics out to 500 yards. So the bullet's going 2940, energy 3109, not bad. At 500 yards, now let's take a look at energy. 1,772 foot-pounds of energy and 36.9 inches of drop. Now let's look at the 7PRC factory ammo. 7PRC ammo is the 175 ELDX, so it's going to have a bit of an advantage. And at 500 yards, it's, it has a little bit more energy, about two or 300 foot-pounds more, but only about 2 inches difference at 500, not quite the 6 inches. Now let's see what you can get hand-loading the 7mm Remington Magnum, that 175 grain ELDX, and you can get over 2,900 feet per second. I've gotten with a X-Bolt 2940 with a 180 ELDM, so I think 2925 is very attainable for the Rem Mag. Let's look at 500 yards. The energy is a whole lot closer, within 100 foot-pounds if I remember correctly. 2,024 foot-pounds at 500 yards, so not the advantage that that commenter made. And then 36.1 inches of drop, so a 2-inch difference. Now let's look at 1,000 yards. 1163 foot-pounds and 242.4 inches of drop. Now let's see what the 7mm PRC does, hand-loading. Again, this is Hornady's data, they say you can only get 3,000 feet per second hand loading this. And when you take it out to 1,000 yards, uh, less than 100 foot pounds of energy advantage. And the drop is within a little over a foot advantage. So 13 inches or so. Not the big advantage that people might think. They're actually really close. The thing I want to point out with this comment is that. A lot of people believe that the 7PRC is a low recoiling magnum. Now, let's see what the recoil is really like for a 7PRC. 30 out 6, and this is a max load in a 30 out 6. A lot of factory ammo is not going to have this much recoil, probably around 21 foot pounds of recoil with factory ammo. But to its max, it's roughly around 23 pounds of recoil. By the way, all of these rifles would be in a 9 pound configuration. Okay, the 7mm Remington Magnum is just a little bit more than a 30 out 6 at 24 pounds of recoil. The 7mm PRC, 26 pounds of recoil. Now, to put things into perspective, this is about twice as much as a 6.5 Creedmoor. So, the 7mm PRC is not a light recoiling cartridge at all. In fact, it's really close. <laughs> with the 300 Winchester Magnum. The Win Mag is barely a little bit more recoil. And then the commenter did mention the Nosler, the 28 Nosler, and yes, it does have a bit more recoil. But the 7mm PRC, again, is not a light recoiling cartridge. Now let's get to the extremely overhyped comments that I've seen. Quote, you can get hand-loaded performance out of factory ammo for a 6.5 PRC, 7mm PRC, and 300 PRC. I think this is really good news for the PRS shooters and the F-Class shooters, because all they need to do is get a rifle and a PRC cartridge and buy factory ammo, and they're set. There's no more reasons to hand-load. Woohoo! This comment's fun. This guy's saying all cartridges that are not PRC cartridges are basically Ford Model Ts. Because as we all know, no other cartridge other than the PRC cartridges can shoot high BC bullets. Last, and certainly the dumbest comment that I've seen in a while, quote, 
7 PRC is a Mercedes, 6.5 Creedmoor beats a 308, and a 6.5 PRC soundly beats a 6.5 Creedmoor. 7 PRC beats 300 Win Mag. There have been good 7 millimeters, but name one with better ballistics than 7 PRC. You can't, because it's always up there at the top of the class. Well, at least this guy got one thing right. I won't name one cartridge that's better than a 7 millimeter PRC that's in the 7 millimeter. I'll name four. 7 millimeter Weatherby, 100 feet per second faster. 28 Nosler, 200 feet per second faster. You can shoot the exact same bullets. The 7 millimeter Shooting Times Westerner can shoot the same bullets 100 feet per second faster or more. And lastly, the 7mm Remington Ultra Magnum absolutely demolishes the 7 PRC in performance. You can shoot a 175 grain 3300 feet per second, 300 feet per second faster than a 7mm PRC.